On any given weekend here in Sydney, Australia, hundreds of weddings take place, and some of them right on the harbour shores. You'll often find many wedding parties lined up together, waiting patiently for their turn to capture the perfect photo. One of the more preferred locations for photos and videos is at a place called The Rocks, a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. Okay, we have arrived at Wedding Central, which is the rocks in Sydney, just next to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Now, normally on a Saturday afternoon like it is now, it'll be full of weddings. We'll call it a wedding circuit. And this is a good place to start, actually. Um, just parking on top of Argyle Street. And we'll do a full circuit from here. We'll call it the Wedding Sushi Train. Now, normally, like I said, it's quite busy. It's so full of weddings that you'll, you'll walk past other videographers. Hey, other photographers, hey, what's up? It's like a bus, like a bus depot. Got my wedding party. Hey, how you going? Hey. So for today, I'm just going to use the one lens and I've got it on a gimbal. It's not perfect for vlogging, but if I hold it far enough away, it, it'll be fine. We won't do this very often. It's all about the location today. And I'm going to use the Sony 35mm 1.8 full frame. It's so new that I don't have a filter for it yet but we'll do a proper cinematic video later. This is all about the tour. And lastly, we're going to use my HLG to Rec. 709 proper conversion LUT. So check that out, that's in the description below. And we will get started. I think that's about it. Let's go. Okay, we've got two hours in the meter, which hopefully is enough to get this all done. start on Argyle Street, in this archway here. So people use this wall here for leading lines, wet or dry. All right, jump down. This is the entrance to one of the more popular alleyways. Let's head on in there. I've seen so many weddings in here that it look like New Year's Eve. Wow. And there's a bit of construction going on here, so I don't think you need the widest lens. All right, go and stand on those stairs. So this weird little house here, number 64, for some reason, I'll just brighten it up, for some reason is really popular. And I honestly don't understand why, but I'll be here for a few weddings every year in this particular spot. Just here's fine. Right, well, I didn't expect it to have construction and look so ugly, but trust me, when it's not here and construction is finished, it's actually a good spot for weddings. You can park your cars, the wedding cars, right there in front of that mural. Let me get that in focus there. But obviously today isn't the best. All right, let's go. Okay, this spot here is actually one of my secret spots. Um, it's just underneath the Australian Hotel, I don't know if you can see it up there. But even on a busy day, you can get down here and it's nice, even lighting and it's away from the riffraff. So you can just, you know, you can lean up against the wall. Once again, get some nice perspective here at 1.8. So that's a great shot. And you can even come around this side and I think there's even more to work with darker and then look this way. Darker in the background and brings up the foreground there. And there's also this wall here which will bounce light back nicely. But yeah, on any day, the lighting is quite even. Come this way for me. Go stand up on those stairs too. And we can even do role plays here to break the ice. Like, hey, Lila, stand up and run to that pole and swing around that pole. <laughs> it's like a singing in the rain kind of style here. It looks, it's like Broadway, come back this way. And you see what I mean? Like we just do role plays in this alleyway and it's even on the busiest of days, it's, it's a good little getaway. We can do our slow-mo walks. Um, you can fit about 10, 12 people in a line here. All right, let's go up the stairs. And this way looks nice too. I like this lens, 35 1.8. I think if anything, if you ever had one lens and you were doing stuff like this and you're in a hurry, I think the 35 1.8 would be it. 
close focus, distance shots, portraiture, and definitely what I'm doing now for gimbal use. That's that Australian hotel I was talking about. All right, so if you're a Beatles fan too, there's a cool pedestrian crossing here. We can do a Abbey Road style walk. Go for it. Flick your hair as you cross. Look at camera. Yeah, that's it. It's a nice little pedestrian crossing. There's also this little tower just off to the left of that pedestrian crossing, which then leads, if you go underneath it, leads to Observatory Hill. And you know what? I've actually never come up here before, which is funny. It's a nice view too. Well, we should. I'll stop down a little bit so I don't freak my camera out. I'm maxing it at one and eight thousand. It would have been nice to have some filters for this. The balcony is too high. So what I'll do, Lila, come up here. Yes. See, we can fit a bit more in there now. And just walk up the stairs. You're going to work. Oh yes. You know, you're on a lunch break. Cool. You see, that works. Get a bit of the background in. I've never done that before. All right, something different. There you are. Just on autofocus, zone. So I've done um, a wedding shoot once where we ended up at that hotel down there. We're all on the roof and the bride was funny. Um, she just jumped up on the tables and started dancing. Well, that was cool. Cool. I'm loving this 35. Yeah, so I've never been. Look, go and have one more look. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the balcony is usable. And lean over it. And look this way to the right. What can you see? Look at that beautiful crane. Whoa, amazing. Okay, so yeah, you're right. So we were just up there on that little tower there looking out. And if you come down past the hotel here, the Glenmore, and down these little stairs, there's this cool area we'll show you next. And we just walk behind the Glenmore here. And this is probably the hardest one to find of all the ones listed in this video, is this little spot here. So what's this? Hey, we go in here, Lila. These funny doors. Which leads to nowhere. Now, I actually don't know what the official name of this place is. It's pretty cool. It's like nostalgic, old-fashioned, abandoned furniture. It's just out in the open here. The 35 mils covering a little bit of that. What would you call this place? They do haunted tours here at night. We can call it the haunted tour place if you're looking for it on Google Maps. So what do you do in a place like this, eh? A lot of choice. Let's sit down on that bench there. Let's lie down on it like you're being um, interviewed by the psychiatrist. Yeah, and look this way. Yeah. Fashion it up. Oh yes, nice. Do this. All right, come on down. I'll practice some gimbal moves. And you can like look around and, and I'll show one of the alleyways. It's just through here. All right, this is it here. It's a cool little alleyway. Turn around and walk backwards. That's it. Yeah, and then forwards again. Just put it on auto white for this because I knew it was going to change. And that alleyway comes out here, which is like, I guess that's the beginning of the more touristy areas. So we wouldn't get shots here, but I'm just showing you. All right, Lila is acting like our tour guide, but she actually doesn't know where we're going next. I'm just telling her where to go. So walk forwards. This is, I think I'm calling this alleyway number two on our list. Turn left here, I think it is. Yes. That's a cool little alleyway. Is it too bright? No. If you like your leading lines or nice architecture, sandstone and brick and all that kind of stuff, you'll find it all here. Mm-hmm. Hello. Mm-hmm. Okay, well this is the Rocks Markets and we're obviously not going to go in there, but just wanted to show you that. What we're going to do is head back behind me towards the passenger terminal. Let's go that way. I guess we should use the pedestrian crossing. There it is. Yeah, I think that wedding group over there is probably the max that we're currently at in Sydney at the moment. Now this is where we start our more touristy bit, our loop under the Harbour Bridge. 
We shouldn't see many of the wedding groups just yet. We're just on the right hand side. And if you stop there for me, Lila, I'll come around to you. And they're just starting to have some of these constructions finished now. I would not normally do this shot. She's a bit baked in sun there. Yeah, but on Google Maps, I notice currently that that still says it's under construction. Um, and I wanted to get down here and show this tower. You can actually climb up there and get some cool shots. We won't do that today. Do you want to try and go up that tower? No, don't worry about it. We won't do it today, I don't think. And they might have bought the, um, the tower, actually, the restaurant. So we probably can't go up there anyway. But in Vivid, that was a good spot. And I think if you just ask, you can go get a shot up there. Right, well, let's begin our tourist walk, hey? Keep going, let's walk. Yeah, this is handy. I mean, before I had to change 28 mils and then actually put the sun behind you. I'd break out, go towards that thing. Can you get to that bridge? Um, before I would have to stop, put the 55 on, get my nice portrait style shot. I might stop down to 1.8 there. Then I would put my 28 mil on because I only had those two lens for gimbals. And I had my 85 obviously, but didn't really gimbal on that that much during weddings. Can we get down here? We can. Let's walk over this. Do you want to hold the rail or Corona rail? Yeah, let's just walk. Yeah, it's a bit wobbly, hey. All right, come, I'll get a bit lower, let's go. If anyone falls over, it's gonna be me, not you. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, hey. I call these music video shots. What's the name of your first album gonna be? Corona. Corona Classics. Okay, let's go. So you might see on social media, the old reflection shot, this is where it is. It's at the base of the Park Hyatt. Um, they don't like you filming here, but I think the stairs is, is pushing it. But I think it's okay, they won't kick you out. You just can't go in. I have been kicked out of here a couple of times. If you want to show off back home, even if you're a local and your parents are overseas, I got married in Sydney. Then you usually come to this spot at the end here, a bit of the opera house in the background. Oh yeah, so here we are. There's a wedding already. And you probably need that flash to balance out the metering. It's quite, it's quite severe. And, and Lila, just quickly go and stand on the edge and I'll get my shot. Okay, let's do it here. We'll be nice. So it sucks when we have to do this. This is the hardest shot for videographers. Bright background, dark in the foreground. What I would do is instead of a shot like this, I'd probably set up a silhouette shot and make some fancy wide. Or obviously bounce lights. Okay, let's go. Yeah, well I did that because I didn't want to get in the way of their wedding shoot. Give me the less favorable shot. Here's another excellent spot to get a bit of the Harbour Bridge in the background and it's what people ask for. I know um, subject photography, look it should always be about the people, should it be about the bride and groom, but sometimes you want to show where you are. It's pretty versatile here, there's also a grass area just under the bridge. We've used that as well many times. And let's walk that way, Lila, until we're in line with the middle of the bridge. Yeah, is that about it? Can't wait to come back here with the A7S III and try some 4K slow-mo. Is that the center? About there? All right, stay there. So this, if you have a sexy like 24, 1.4, or a nice wide, like a 16 to 35, this is where you'd break that baby out. Here, under the bridge. Let's make a tiny at the bottom of the frame there. And I've stopped down to about 3.2 to get a little bit of depth of field. But you get the idea. Harbour Bridge.
can't come to Sydney and not see the Harbour Bridge. Can you climb up there? Go on, there you go. That's it, yeah, jump up. We're torturing our model today and she's freezing. Are you cold? A little bit. Lila, I have a challenge for you. You're gonna walk through there and you're gonna walk out onto that thing there. Sorry? The water's gone up here before because it's super. Whoa! We've already dropped the gimbal once today and now we're going to get it wet. So this is my favourite spot for like a wide shot of the harbour. And I did not bring my wide lens. Just trying to do everything on the 35 today, but it's still pretty cool. For video you can get away with it. For photo you would need to capture everything in the one frame that you want to tell. Yeah, that's a bit better. That would be what 24 sees anyway. I don't think this shot is about the bridge, to be honest, it's too close. I would just be on a nice 85 or a 50 for that shot and get a little bit of the harbour and maybe I'd shoot it from this side. If you, if you do want to get something like a landmark, you get the Opera House in. Did you get wet? No, I didn't really dig it, I was going over it. You're rest against that gate. Yeah, if you wanted a bit more of the harbour, you would come back. It's similar to when we're on the other side. If you want a bit of that bridge, you, you do it from further away. I just like that wharf, it's just cool. But you're a bit sunbaked, aren't you, here? All right, just under the bridge again. This is one spot where you would potentially get your car shots. Mainly because the cars are dropping you off here a lot of the time, whether you're getting your photos done here or there's a, couple, there's a couple of venues there and there, Pier 1. And there's this little archway here which I see a lot of flash photographers like to use. Yeah, so flash photographers love this archway. I think you can really brighten up the archway and make it shine outwards. This is car spot two. And someone's actually getting their photo done now with their car. But yeah, we're gonna head on down now to the last part, one more alleyway. And then if you do plan your shoot accordingly, you should always finish, in my opinion, where you get some nice sunset shots. So for us in Sydney, it's something that faces west. I love this car here. You see people in Sydney suffer from massive road rage. Look, it's a face. Now this road here, which I'll put on the map, I forgot the name, is good for slow-mos of groups of people. Get them all to line up, do a nice slow one at 4K on my a7 III, and then we do some funny running ones um, at 1080. And I can't wait for the a7S III, because I should be able to do the whole shoot without changing settings. Just leave it on 4K50 for me down here in Sydney. All right, so still on that road, we come to this really cool alleyway. Keep going, it's beautiful in here. This is maybe less known. A lot of this video might seem obvious, but there are some gems in here that if you don't already know about, 
then this one's brilliant. Okay, we're in my favorite alleyway. I'm at 1.8, and if anyone tries to walk in the background, they'll become a tone. Let's go. But they'll be lost in the background blur. And lastly is alleyway number two. We like this one. We've used this one before for the S1H video, which I'll um, put a link to if I can remember. And to finish our video, we're going to go up there, which is Observatory Hill. Hey, Lila, look at that. Come stand here. Come on, walk this way. Play with your hair, get some silhouette stuff happening. Okay. My cheap filter, you can see the little green dot. Okay, we're going up the stairs. And I just bought this lens, I don't want to scratch it, so I'm going to leave the cheap filter on there. I don't think it matters. You can't tell unless you shoot directly in the sun and then you see the little ghosting or the dot, whatever you call it. Walk in the middle of the road, I'll tell you when cars come. I just like the way it's blowing out. If you had a Tiffin on for this shot, you wouldn't be able to see a thing. So sometimes Tiffin is good and sometimes not. And this is controlling flares okay-ish. I think it's a good mix. Controlling it a bit, but not too much. And I'm wide open, so you're gonna get that hazy style sun flare. This time, let's go that way. Go along the grass. And one of the favorite shots is using this tree as a silhouette or putting the couple under the natural framing there. And a lot of the time the photographer will pull out the 70 to 200 and stay here, put the couple up on the hill here. I don't bring my 70 to 200 to any shoots. I'll just keep the 55 on, let the photographer get his shot and then say, up, oh, just wait there, hold it. I want to get a shot too. It's picnic central or is it a wedding? Is it a wedding? No, nah, they're just picnicking. Well, we're nearly done. We'll just go over to where that sun is and we'll finish over there, yeah? A lot of people here on the hill today. There's a wedding. So sometimes other videographers say hi, and sometimes they don't. I don't know these people, so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, well, we're done, finally. And obviously there's like lots more. There's infinite places to shoot here at the rocks. Oh, we'll do that again, take two. It's too bright up there. So we're back to where we started. We finished our full loop. Our, wasn't really a wedding sushi train after all. There wasn't that many weddings. And that's understandable. It's because of all the lockdowns. There's not that many weddings on. But I think we've covered a lot. Obviously we haven't covered everything. There's an infinite amount of places to shoot in and around the rocks. I've shown you some obvious ones and some of my hidden gems, which you may know about already, but if you didn't, now you know. And if you have any more suggestions, then let us know, comment down below, tell us what you think. And until then, and my arm is dying, we'll see you on the next one. All right, okay, bye.